And hello everyone, welcome back to some Dragon Quest XI. We need to go find Sylv, that's what we need to do. He uh, apparently, after we learnt from this guy, he, he went up these stairs for some reason. Uh, in a few of the cutscenes that we saw in the last video, Sylv was kind of like acting a little bit weird, giving us some, some strange vibes, so I think we'll go check on him. Well, it looks like the little episode's been resolved. Now that uh, everyone's come back to the village, I should think about restarting my investigations. Yeah, you do that. You do that. Hello, uh, what's up with Sylv? Yeah, what is up with him? He looks well, he didn't quite look himself. I hope he's alright. I think we might be learning some backstory of Sylv soon. That would be really cool, though. Because I am definitely fascinated. Here he is. I recognise that. Tail, anywhere? <sighs> if only he and his father had simply been honest with one another. <gasps> ah, you scared me! How long have you been standing there? Uh, two hours. <clears throat> Pretty give or take. Ah, never mind. It. It was nice to see Son reunited with his father, huh? It was, yeah. But there are some who will never be reunited with their loved ones. Some bridges that will never be repaired. Hmm, daddy issues? Can I ask you something? Mordegon is... he's super powerful, right? Powerful enough to destroy our world. I'd say so, definitely. I mean, didn't you see what he did? You've seen that power for yourself, but you still want to fight him, don't you? Of course we do. That's our destiny. You really are a hero, huh? Oh, I guess. You know, I thought it was enough. Traveling the world, trying to put smiles back on people's faces. But what good is a smile here and there if the Lord of Shadows could snatch it away at any moment? That's a good point. What I'm saying is, I have to leave my beloved parade and come with you. It's the only way. I was going to insist on it, Sylv. There's no way I'm letting you stay with these dudes when you could be in my party kicking ass. But there's something I want you to help me with first. Oh, okay. What? What is it? It's all well and good me going and getting my head squished by Mordegon. But I can't do that to my darling boys. So we have to leave them somewhere safe with somebody who can look after them. Now, I know just the place and just the person, but, well, there's no good way of saying this. I'm petrified of seeing him. So you have to come with me. You will, won't you, darling? <laughs> what if we say no? I mean, it's not gonna let us say no, but I'm just gonna do it for just for the lols. Even though I would not say this to Sylv, I would of course be like, dude, whatever you need, man, I will help you. Oh, don't be a big meanie. Now's not the time. <laughs> You'll come with me, won't you? Of course we will. Oh, thank you. I knew you'd say yes. Okay, I'm going to go break the news to my little soldiers of smile. Meet me outside the village, all right? Already. They're not going to take that news too well, though. They're going to miss you, buddy. Just like we missed you. Ah, <sighs> right, yeah. Get Let's let's all guess where we think he's gonna want us to go. Port of Alor, maybe. Since he was so freaking terrified last time we were there. Some family family feuds. I'm sensing. Right. So uh, we've spoken to that dude, we've got his quest. There's no other quests here. Do I? I think I checked out the weapon shop and armor shop, so I'm probably content to just mosey on out of here. And again, mosey on out of here. What the hell? Too much Red Dead Redemption 2. Not that there is such a thing, because that game's amazing. But, uh, but yeah, it's definitely... <laughs> I find myself influenced slightly. Right. Well, farewell, people of Phnom Non. Hopefully, things can get back to uh, a shred of normality here. 
See you, doggy. Oh, hi, doggy. Oh, I'm going to call you Rufter. That's what you are. Right then, Sylv. Have you broke the bad news to your posse? Posse? Again? What do, What the hell, dude? Parade. That's what he called him. Darlings, I have an announcement to make. My parading days are over. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> I, I knew they wouldn't take it too well. Ah, 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 but do not fear. It will only be for a little while. I will return as soon as the Lord of Shadows is defeated. We... we understand, Sylve. That Mordigan's stolen enough smiles. Someone's got to stop him. <laughs> sure thing, yeah. Yeah, you go and do what you gotta do, Sylve. We'll be heartbroken without you, of course, but we'll survive. And that's... if anyone can show that rotten spoil sport what's what, it's you. That's totally Hendrick's voice actor, by the way. <laughs> Group hug. Exactly. We'll never get those smiles back if I don't do this. And I won't be leaving you high and dry. I'm going to ask my papi to look after you in Puerto Valor. Yep, called it. Puerto Valor. Wait, wait. Vendrick knows something. Surely not. Surely you cannot be Don Rodrigo's. Bum bum bum. So you finally figured it out, huh? Same old stone-headed Hendrick. Such a sweet, simple boy. <laughs> whoa, whoa. So they knew each other as kids? Oh! <laughs> what All the right, hell? my little champions of cheer. Let's go show Puerto Valor how to party! Yeah! <laughs> What's up with Hendrik? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad Hendrix in our party, you know. I, I cannot fathom it. The boy is unrecognizable. And he has abandoned the name his father gave him. Don Rodrigo must be furious. <clears throat> Forgive me for my lack of composure. This has all come as quite a shock. Hey, anytime you want to forego composure, mate, it's hilarious. So do it as often and as frequent as you feel necessary. Silvando is none other than the son and heir of Don Rodrigo, the noblest and most revered of all knights. Yep. It was always assumed that he would follow in his father's footsteps. Well, he certainly didn't do that, did he? <laughs> but the two had a terrible argument, and the boy left Puerto Valor never to return. Until now. But perhaps this is not such a bad thing. I have been meaning to visit Don Rodrigo and seek his counsel. Very well. It is not far from here to Puerto Valor. The road will take us north and then east. Come, let us follow the parade. <laughs> yeah, yes, we will. We will follow the parade. Even though they walk so fucking slowly, I think I may overtake them. Or maybe they've just vanished. Yeah, they've vanished. Okay. Right then. Let's check. Just to make sure we're going in the right direction. Oh, yeah. Okay. Basically go back the way we came, obviously. So. Uh, is there a horsey thing nearby? Uh, it's on the way. Alright, I'm just going to ignore these guys. Don't need to fight them. Is Sylv still not in our party? Are you shitting me, Sylv? I guess when we get to Puerto Valor, he'll join us. <sighs> oh man, Hendrix's reactions are pure fucking gold. Uh, I, 
I honestly... I, I don't know what to say. This game has just... It just surprises me every single time I play this. Something weird happens. And I love it. Alright, horsey, come on, Jeeves. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go. Do, do, do. Avoid these chaps, even though they're cool AF, as we established previously. Wait. Horsey we'll won't get through there. Ooh, shiny. Can we not get the shiny? Oh, do we need a, a mount? Oh, we need one of the Hornites, don't we? Never mind then. Nay, he says, I shall not go that way. You're so fussy, Jeeves. You could fit through there. Just lazy. A lazy horse. I've heard of crazy horses, not lazy horses. Did I stop at this campfire? I must have done. I'm gonna do it again anyway. Oh yeah, we might as well just check the forge again. Since we got a level up. And just by one. Oh, crack shot bash, what's this? A carefully aimed blow with an increased critical hit chance. Ooh. We're getting all sorts of good shit for this. Right, I'm just going to check the armor situation. Uh, because... Yeah, dragon mail. I wouldn't mind getting some of that, but we need to get some more mithril ore and some red eyes. So... Oh, you know what? Why the fuck am I running all the way to Puerto Velo? We've been there! I can zoom! Oh my god, you stupid, stupid man, mage. Fuck. Wait, did we go? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I was gonna hoof it the whole way. I'm sure people were screaming at their monitors, going, Mage, you absolute div cheese, what are you doing? I apologize. I was too dis- I, I got distracted by Hendrick's uh, antics. Please, please forgive me. Right. Here we go. Oh my god. Not even trying to be subtle this time. <laughs> it's so strange. I thought I'd never see this place again, and yet here I am. Well, at least I came back with a bang. You certainly did. You go on ahead, honey. I need a second to compose myself. That's fair enough. Understandable. This is a big, big reunion coming up. And we certainly brightened up the place. What's Dave doing? Blimey, so this is Sil's hometown, eh? You can see now how he got his sunny disposition growing up somewhere like this, eh? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, if, if, Silver's gonna grow up anywhere, it would be this place. And I know I've checked these pots before, but I just love smashing them. Do you have anything new to say? No, you're just talking about knights. Okay. Uh, no new quests in here. I mean, we're on we were only just here, though, so. Who are these Chicos? Uh, did they come over to the uh, from over to the west? Then the rumors are true. But wait, they are certainly brightly colored, just as we heard. But these are no demons. They are nice young men. What is he? What is he doing? Look, there they are. He's just at the point now. I'm gonna spat all over my microphone. That's so so graceful. Uh, the demons I saw dancing and marching about over to the west. See, I told you I wasn't lying. They're not demons, they just, you know, dressed to impress. <laughs> this dude is not having any of it, look at him. <laughs> no, please, por favor, please do not kill me. Wow. Okay, well, let's go over to Don Rodrigo's place. 
He woke up a while ago and seems to be feeling better. You can meet with him now, I think. Good! I must warn him about the strange chicos who have uh, arrived in town. They do not look like bad people, but it is best that he knows. Oh, he's gonna know, alright. <laughs> oh boy, he's gonna know, alright. Let me just grab the shiny from around here. Was it Silk Blossom? Yes, it was. Okay. In fact, hang on a minute. Let me just uh, quickly check the party talk, because I know I've not been checking this enough. I do realize that. Precisely. Oh, Sylv isn't in the party yet, so he's not going to have anything to say. Uh, Protovalor means a great deal to me. I have so many fond memories of this place. Now it is incumbent upon us to return it to its former glory. Norbert, I mean, uh, Sil. Oh! We just learned Sylvando's real name. Is it Norbert? Is it fucking Norbert, really? Hmm. Seems the good folk of Pertavalor don't quite know what to make of the lads in the parade. Uh, I don't blame them. I was uh, a wee bit taken back when I first clapped eyes on Lot 2. It, it's, it's weird, because Rab is like really good mates with him, isn't he? Surely he would have recognized Sylv, if anyone, but I guess maybe Sylv's just changed that much. I don't know. Or maybe he just never met his son. Is they right? Anyway. Uh, Don Rodrigo got himself injured, saving some wee band from a monster. I just hope he's going to be alright. Oh, no. Oh, crap. I hope he is okay. Oh, here's, uh, what's his face? Can't remember his name. Uh, oh, was it Sir Savan Savant Cervantes? Was that his name? Ah, good. I'm hearing much noise and commotion coming from outside. Is there something untoward happening? Um, no. No. Well, it, there's something happening, but... I don't think I can... <laughs> I don't think my descriptions can really do it justice. Oh, this was the dude, not that dude down there. This, this was him. Yeah, he's uh, feeling better today. I believe he is awake at the moment. You will find him in his room. Please feel free to enter. I'm sure he will be delighted to grant you an audience. Yeah, you go investigate that. Well, I'm going to try and prepare Don Rodrigo for uh, quite the bombshell. Don Rodrigo, it is I, Hendrik. It has been too long. Uh, uh, huh? That is a mustache. Hendrik? Ho <laughs> ho How many years has it been since you completed your training, huh? Eh? Come closer, caballero. <laughs> Let me see your face. That is a that is a tash. I have heard many tales of your exploits. <laughs> to think that the great lump of meat who came to me all those years ago is now the hero of Eliador. <laughs> I had not expected to find you in such good spirits, my lord. As one who owes everything to your kind offices, it pleases me greatly. Alas, there has been precious little cause for mirth since last we met. Dundrasil fell, then Yggdrasil. And now the Lord of Shadows roams the land. Don Rodrigo and I have much to discuss. Perhaps you could go and fetch Silvando while we talk. Okie dokie. This random maid just stood there. Uh, it's such a relief. Uh, K. Alivio? A re relief? Is that Spanish for relief? I guess? I don't know. Uh, Don Rodrigo was badly injured and unable to leave his bed, but then suddenly he woke up. I hope he remains in good such spirits. I mean, there is a slight resemblance. You gotta, you gotta. Well, not really. I'm trying to same color hair, I suppose. But still, definitely don't be rocking such an amazing lip caterpillar. Definitely not. Can I? uh... Yeah, I'm just I'm just taking some stuff, dude. Don't mind me. 
we got here? Ooh, platinum plating. Platinum headgear, platinum mail. Is that going to be better than dragon mail? Hmm. This is a nice room. Although it's definitely missing a fireplace. I mean, the fireplace must be downstairs, but st uh, yeah, I think uh, I think the room would need one. It's very nice, though. I love the ceiling. Whoa. Okay, mage, no one, what, no one cares about your feelings on the ceiling. Let's, let's go find Sylv. That's what people came to watch. Gotta give the people what they want. Now, hopefully Sylv hasn't run off. So, where, where is he? Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm looking for Sylv. I think he went down that big staircase that heads to the sea. He had a proper face on him too, dead serious, not like Sylv I know at all. Reckon he, you should probably go and check on him, make sure he's alright, you know? Okay, okay. Down to the sea. To see if we can see Sylv. I can see him, because he's still wearing that uh, incredible outfit. We'll call it incredible. What's up, buddy? Getting the jitters. Oh, hey, honey. I guess they sent you to fetch me, huh? Indeed. It's so silly, I know. Here I am, happy to go put my neck on the line in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. And yet the thought of facing Poppy makes me want to run away screaming. Seeing that boy and his father in Phnomnon made me think I could do it. That I could finally face him. But now I'm here, I... I'm so scared. It's understandable. It's been a long time, you know, it's... You've heard what happened with me and him, I guess. Well, c yeah, pretty much, kind of. Hendrik told you, huh? <laughs> it all seems so far away now. Even before I could walk, I was training to be a knight, you know? That's bloody early. Christ. I would stay in Puerto Valor and follow in my father's footsteps. Then one day, the circus came to town. It was so, so fabulous. I can't even describe it. It was love at first sight. I knew from the second I walked into that tent that I'd found my calling. Getting up on that stage and making people happy, that was the life for me. But Papi, he wasn't so keen. A few plates got smashed the night I broke the news to him, let me tell you. Mm. But I wasn't going to let that stop me. Oh no, this was my calling. To make the whole world happy. I would be a knight in smiling armor. <laughs> I like it. didn't have anything to say to me after that. That was when I knew that I had to go and prove to him that I meant what I said. So I left. And I haven't seen him since. Hmm. Ah, dear me. That got a bit long and emotional, huh? That's what she said. But it's made me feel a whole lot better. In fact, yes. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. It's now or never. Let's go pay Papi a visit. Yeah, look. Yeah, come on, confidence. Just stroll in there. Tell him how it is. Tell him you've become this world-renowned entertainer. And you now lead a, a, a band of merry peacocks. He will understand, I'm sure. Let's go. Let's break the news to Papi. And I'm thinking Papi ain't gonna be too happy. <sighs> what is this commentary? What the fuck? <sighs> right then. In we go. <laughs> you with the feathers. You must leave. On delay. Ooh, Sylv. Still petrified of the squeaky little mousies too. 
Yep. It's, it's, you are correct, sir. That is Sylv. Well, Norbert. I thought I would never see you again. A miracle. So flattered to hear it. Sorry to leave you all on your lonesome for so long, honey. Uh, yep. Yeah. Look around as much as you like. Goddamn right. I mean, is this Sylv's room? Or is that, like... It's just the, oh, it's just this empty room again, isn't it? We've read all these books. So maybe this was Sylv's room? But he sort of converted it to his... empty reading room, perhaps. Anyway, in we go. Let's see what the Don thinks of this. Uh, 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 hi, puppy. Mm. Caramba! Norberto! You dare to show your face in my presence, and you have come to tell me something. See? Oh, come on now. Let's let's be civil. Noberto, that's a great name. I, I'm so sorry, Papi. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, so sorry. No, old man, up. Stand up for yourself. Sorry? <laughs> what are you apologizing for, foolish boy? You have succeeded in making the world smile, see? Uh, not yet, Papi. Uh, then why are you here, hmm? Why did you come back if you have not yet done as you promised? You said you would do it, Norberto. You said you would make everyone happy. I did not raise you to be a failure. How dare you come to me and... Uh, oh, take it easy, dude. Uh, puppy. Damn you, boy. If I were younger, I would put you over my knee. I think he might like that. I know a knight makes an oath and does not fulfill it. Well, is yeah. True, true. Wait. Puppy, did you say knight? You still think of me as one? You have no idea how... Oh, thank you, puppy. Thank you. I guess it wasn't very knightly of me to come back before I'd fulfilled my promise, huh? But I had a good reason. Mm -hmm. The Lord of Shadows. See? See? How can I make people happy if he is there making their lives miserable? It is impossible. Which is why I'm going to beat him. Only then can I fulfill my vow and make all the people of the world smile again. <laughs> Careful, boy! Do not promise to defeat Mordegon if you do not truly intend to do so. I will not have you break another oath. Of course, Papi. A knight's word is his bond. You taught me that. But there's just one teensy weensy little thing I need to ask you to do to hell. <laughs> Look after all me friends. I've picked up a few friends on my travels. They're kind of young and kind of innocent. They need a role model, you know? Someone to lead them. <laughs> you do not even need to ask, Norberto. A knight serves the weak untiringly. Or have you forgotten the pledge? Oh, Papi, really? Come on, Norberto. Of course, it will be my pleasure. Yay. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest, kindest father a boy could hope to have? Mm -hmm. Oh, darlings, come say hello to your Tio Rodrigo. This is so happy.
Where, where, mm. where are they? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, what a lovely bedroom. It's so big. That's why she. <gasps> Oh, don't tell me this is your dad, Sylph. He's awfully manly. I'll feel safe with you looking after me, Mr. Rodrigo. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Rodrigo signed up for this. But okay. Roberto, explain yourself. What is the meaning of this? Oh my god. Just He's not making him wear it, is he? Oh. No! Hey, what the hell? Hurts <laughs> 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 your foolishness, boy! I did not agree to this! <laughs> he certainly didn't. Oh, don't be like that, papi! How can you lead my little band of boys if you don't look the part, huh? You promised. Oh, he did. He's got you there, matey. Uh, didn't you always teach me that a knight's word is his bond? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, those fists are tightening, clenching. <laughs> he does not look happy. This is settled. Noberto, I will take care of your curious little amigos, and you will take care of the Lord of Shadows, see? Ah, yep, yeah, we'll defeat Mordigan and give the world its smile back. Return to me once you've defeated Mordigan. Okay. Don Rodrigo's a dude, though. What a, what, a what a good dad. You think he's really nasty, but he's just a little bit, you know, stern and wants, you know, wants Syl to follow his dreams. Sorry, Noberto. Wow. What have you got to say, dude? I'd hoped you'd be able to spend more time with us, but it seems you must depart right away. It's been so hard for you looking after Pappy all these years. Yep, we'll be right back. Aww. What have you got to say? He's back after all these years away, and he brought a whole bunch of his friends. I do not know the whole story, but I know that Don Rodrigo is happy. Is he? Does that look like a happy man to you? <laughs> wow. Well, have fun, Don Rodrigo. Because you got these dudes all over your house. What about this room? Oh, this room's still sad and empty. Oh. Okay, well, where do we go from here? Back to Arboria? I suppose so. Oh, they're all sad. Listen to me, soldiers of smile. You serve my puppy now. You must do as he says. Do not fail me. <laughs> Please, still don't go! Don't leave us! <laughs> oh, darlings, it breaks my heart to say goodbye. Truly, it does. But we have to be strong. As soon as Mordegon is defeated, I'll be right back with you. I'll be home before you know it. You'll see. <laughs> And no matter how far I go, no matter how hard it gets, I'll always be with you. Always. And guys, the Zoom spell exists. I can come back here in an instant. So really, you know, stop being bitches. Oh, Sylph, we'll be with you too. Just <laughs> say the word and we'll come running. <laughs> wow, there are so many actors in this game. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. We've got the Hit Parade pet power. Thanks so much for all your help, darling. I'm all yours now, I promise. Okie dokie then. Yay! He's not doing a twirl. God fucking damn it. Sylv, I ask one thing of you. One thing is that you do a twirl when you join the party again, and you disappoint. The Salty Stallion is all yours too, of course. She's anchored off to the east of here. Oh good, the ship's still alive. That's... you know what I mean. Intact. With the ship at our disposal, other places will be accessible to us. Perhaps now we can seek out your friends in Arborea. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, because I can't actually remember where Arborea is on the world map. Completely forgotten. It was, uh, oh, it was near Sniffleheim, wasn't it? Yeah, it was through Sniffleheim. And then through the first forest. No. Through the... I, I I know. I know where it is. I know where it is. Right. So, where's our boat? Ah. Okay. Pretty close by. Let us go find the, the Salty Stallion. And... Get back on the open... On the open seas. Oh, that was a cool... That was a cool little bit, though. I like that. I like that Sylv and his dad, you know, their relationship is repaired. More silver ore. I need some mithril ore and I need some red eyes, don't I? Oh shit, it's making me go the long way. God damn. Oh, in fact, no, what am I doing? The boat's over here. Is it? Oh, apparently. Through this little cave. Have I fought these things before? I'm gonna fight one. I don't know if I... Octopods. No, I don't recognize these. These must be new. Uh, yeah, Sylv's back in the party. Oh, he's level 38 as well. Sweet. What are you doing? Oh. MP. It's not too bad. Ah, I need to check Sylv's equipment. Shit. Because I bet you he's got nothing on him. No, he's just put... Look. Wow, four damage was enough to kill it, though. Right, Sylv, me boy. Let me just run to safety. I need to give you some equipment. Uh, the Mardi Garb, I don't think that's going to be very good. Although, then again, Charm is pretty good for him. 245 charm. Holy crap. Or do I want to give him the agility thing? Hmm. I think I'm going to give him this, actually. It's better than the dapper doublet. So, yeah, we'll give him that for now. Uh, give you the Hermes hat again. Do I want to keep him with whips, or do I want to change it up a little bit? I think on... Oh, then again, I don't have many points in anything else. We'll give him the whips. The dragon tail whip. And... Accessory-wise... Hmm... Do -do 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 -do. Da -da 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 -da. Give him... That and yes, the Natty Crow. Yeah, we'll give him that too. Right. Okay. Let's board a mighty ship. What, Dave? It's all patched up, Gov. Should weather any storm, we can throw it at now. Why don't you climb aboard and we can set sail in search of some more of your pals, eh? Absolutely, fucking lootly Sounds like a plan to me. Do, 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 do. So, we could go 
Where can we go? I mean, we want to go to Arboria, really. Uh, you don't know how much I've been looking forward to welcoming you and your mates on board again. <laughs> Just listen to me getting all emotional. By the way, have you heard a rumour that's been going round about that inn in Zwardros? The Warriors Rest, they call it. Seems everyone who stays the night there ends up having the same dream. The same dream, you say? Ah, okay. Looks like we're not going to Arboria straight away then. We'll check out the Warriors Rest. Which... Is, yeah, is that way. Okie dokie. Yeah, the world map looks a little bit different these days, although the purple sky has mostly gone. In fact, it's all gone, isn't it? There's no purple anyway. Oh! I forgot we have encounters on the sea! Uh, we've seen these guys before. They're just vicious versions of the Man of Wars, I think. And... A merman. Mer-king, sorry. Oh, maybe maybe we haven't seen a mer-king. Not sure. Well, they were dealt with very easily. Silv, my boy, I've missed you. Uh, let's try Kiss Me Deadly. Grab. Give it a Zamel. And finally, Hendrik, my boy. Helm Splitter. Actually, no. No. We'll do a Parallax. Our triumph was never in doubt. It's good XP. Uh, I think, actually, we might have a few... Uh, Points to spend with Sylve, yes we do. 32 of the bastards. Uh, I was going for Hustle Dance, wasn't I? So you know what, we will grab that. Um, still can't unlock these yet. Dual wielding. Or do I want to get that Samore? I can't afford dual wielding, so you know what, we're going to get this one. Yeah. Right, there's two more abilities unlocked. One of which is Pink Pirouette. Shout Rose's Petals that can confuse all enemies. Ooh. And what have we got here? A Lash Batter. A winning whip attack that clobbers and can occasionally beguile an entire group of enemies. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all, right. Let's make port at the Warrior's Rest. Uh, I wouldn't... I don't... Would I be able to go back to Nautica? Hmm. Probably not, I wouldn't think. Oh. I love the crabs. <laughs> the way they, they, oh, they play with the pincers. Alright, let's try... that some more, eh? <laughs> Wow, that was decent damage. Uh, pet power, what can I use? Blaze of Glory. That will use both Hendrik. Well, Hendrik's going to lose his pep soon anyway, so you know what? I'm going to do this. I like it. Right, axes of evil. Oh boy! That was rather nice. Come on, Rab. Oh, that crab did a lot of damage, actually. Uh, cutting Edge is going to destroy this thing. God, I love that sword. And we get another sun-bleached seashell. Yeah, let's just head to where uh, to here, and then I'll probably just end the video, guys. We're gonna get a 
one more encounter on the ocean before we dock. No, we don't. Oh, is it getting stormy? I think it is. It's a wee bit stormy all of a sudden. Silvando, this ship of yours is not about to sink, is it? Oh, I bloody hope not. Don't mention the S word. I'll have us out of this in just a jiffy. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. Fresh. Oh, it's not the big fish thing that was attacking Nautica? Am I? Have I just wandered into a boss fight? Th that voice. Where is it coming from? Because I'm not ready for a boss fight. <laughs> I'm really not. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap it is. Ooh, I do want to kill you, but I don't think I'm ready. Tremble before the mighty Alizarin, faithful servant of the Lord of Shadows and ruler of the deep. You dare to enter my realm unbidden. Know that an insult to me is an insult. To my lord and master, prepare to pay with your lives. Oh, crap. You're the one who'll be paying, you great big slimy so and so. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Get in my belly. <laughs> What's he doing? Pearly Gates time. Come, eh? Come, eh? <sighs> oh. Oh. Are you having me on? <laughs> I just blasted you with pearly gates and you barely even flinched. <laughs> the awe with which my lord and master entrusted me renders all your petty human enchantments null and void. Well, doesn't that suck? Are we going to lose our ship? No! Oh crap. I, I actually didn't expect this. Please don't tell me we're going to be separated again from the people we've just reunited with. Where the hell are we now? Where the hell are- wow, this place looks gorgeous. Oh, random fish man, fishing. What is going on? Question mark, question mark, question mark, yeah, where the hell are we? It's absolutely stunning, but... Okay, well, I'm just gonna have a quick wander around, see if there's any items, but... Look at that water. Well, this place is apps. Oh, man. Where is it, though? Are we having some sort of vision? I'm gonna follow the path. <laughs> Well, I was going to end the video, but I can't really do that without a save point, so, uh... I'm just going to carry on. This is lovely. Check the house out first. Cozy little fireplace. 
Not much else. What, she's changed? What the hell? Well, 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 so it is you. Oh, I'm so worried. This place isn't heaven, but it's certainly not hell either. Looks more like heaven to me. Grab yourself a rod. There's one over there. We're going to do some fishing? <laughs> okay. And what might I ask? Are you staring at? Is there something stuck to my face? I can't see your face. Uh, I'll say yes. All right, all right. It is rather an imposing appearance, I agree. Why don't we try another? <laughs> no, still no good. Well, if at first you don't succeed. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll stick with that one. That one's a good one. Not settling on a particular form, hmm? That rather makes me think you might not know who I am. I've not a clue who you are. Unless... I actually have no clue, no? Maybe. World, I oh. am known as the Seer. I thought it maybe it was like Queen Marina, but no, the Seer. I take on different appearances for different people, you see. By which I mean to say that I look different depending on who is doing the looking. But enough about me. How's the fishing? Caught anything? You're a terrible liar, you know. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to press yes. You're not ready yet, you see. When the time comes, you will know it. When the fish finally takes the bait, you must be ready to reel it in. But until then, you have no choice but to wait patiently. That is just the way of life. You know... I have the strangest feeling I've met one of your companions. Eric, was it? Oh yeah, we know Eric. <laughs> well, no matter. We are not here to discuss him. Come, let us go inside. We can save the fishing for another day. I'm so confused right now. What a lovely place. Can I live here? This would be so cool. Oh. Not heaven my ass. Th this is what heaven looks like, my friends. Anyway, let's go see what she has to say. Probably more, more cryptic stuff that we won't understand. Just yet, anyway. Take your seat. Make yourself at home. The fact that you're here makes me wonder if you might have taken a bit of a wrong turn somewhere. Hold still for just a moment. Ah, so that's it. Worried we've lost the power of the luminary, are we? Hmm. Well, I'm afraid there's not much I can do about that. But there is one thing I can say. You may think that your power has been taken from you by the Lord of Shadows. But power cannot be taken, no more than it can be touched or tasted. Especially not the power of the Luminary. Well, that's a relief. Still no idea what I'm talking about, huh? Well, no matter. 
I think that's enough for now. Let me leave you with this thought. When the time comes, you will know. You will feel the tug on the line, and you will know. As in fishing, so in life. Right. Oh, that's right. You're drowning, aren't you? <laughs> that won't do at all. No, please, I'd, I wouldn't like to drown. Well, don't fret. A certain sacred tree tells me it's not your time just yet. Right. We'd better get you woken up, hadn't we? You are the luminary, after all. You have rather an important task to be getting on with. Go. Save the world. I'm trying my best. Oh, you flicked me! <laughs> Dunk. Oh, wow. So yeah, that that was that was trippy. Question is, has everyone else survived? Oh, <gasps> darling, you're alive! Oh, thank goodness! Oh, thank God, Silver's still here at least. <sighs> oh, they're okay! Yay! How the hell did they get out of that, though? When you took that tumble into the sea back there, we all thought you were done for, laddie. I nearly was. Oh, it was terrible. We tried to fish you out, but you slipped beneath the waves before we could get to you. But then, well, it was nothing short of a miracle. There was a bright light, and suddenly, there you were, floating up from the seabed. It's like I had the invincibility cheat on. Somehow we managed to pull you out of the water, give that big slimy so-and-so the slip, and get here to safety. I still don't know quite how we did it. What's the matter, honey? You look like you've seen a ghost. You're kidding. You were fishing, and you met a person called the Seer? And they turned into a dog? That was funny, though. I, that was funny. Oh, come on, silly Billy. You were just dreaming, that's all. You were out for a long time. You have been through quite an ordeal. You need rest. As do we all. Come. Mm -hmm. Whoop. <laughs> so where have we ended up? Did we actually reach the warrior's rest? that say? Put courage in your heart and lightning in your hand. Okay. What does that mean? There'll be time enough for staring out to sea tomorrow, laddie. Come on. Let's get you to bed. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, man, that was weird. The party bed down in the cabin on the seashore and take a much needed rest. Right. Okay. Let's, oh, yeah, I guess we'll save it the worries rest in. Uh, howdy. Hello. You're awake at last. I hear you were attacked by the sea monster everyone has been talking about. I can't believe you survived. It must be your lucky day. I hope you're not thinking of venturing out to sea again. The beast may have swum off into the open ocean, but I doubt he'll stay away for long. Perhaps a trip to the Warrior's Rest would be a wiser move. Yeah, I would like to investigate what's going on with dreams. Smash these barrels, even though I'm pretty sure I've already smashed them. Okay. That looks like the ship is still intact. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, it totally is. Oh, that's fine. It was just me that just got knocked off. Okay. People from all over Erdre are claimed to have seen a number of strange fish-like creatures rising from the ocean and onto the land. Once, I would have laughed at such fanciful tales, but since the fall of Yggdrasil, nothing seems impossible. 
What's become of this world? I know, man. It's gone to shit. Where I will save it. Because the seer told me to do so. Uh... Anything... No. Right, to the warriors rested in. It's been a while since we've been here. There's still that mini medal, apparently, in one of the fields nearby that I haven't found. Hmm. Were these roaming around here last time? Not sure. Anyway, this has been quite a long video. Unless, unless I split it in half without doing an outro, this is probably going to take ages to render, so... I don't... I know you guys don't really care about that, but I, I'm saying it's getting quite late in the day and the video still hasn't gone up, and I do want to get one up every day, so m I might end up have, have splitting... Have, oh my god, I can't speak. I might have ended up splitting the video without any sort of uh, fanfare, if you will, so... I do apologise if that is the case. And if it isn't, just ignore me. I suppose you've come because of, you've heard the rumours. Oh, this is the place everyone who has stayed here has exactly the same dream. Should I tell you what kind of dream it is, though? Oh, you shan't. If you want to know, you'll have to spend the night. Ah. A very clever ploy. Alright. What, what are you guys doing here? I'm about to bust some serious grooves. Haste makes waste. Sometimes you gotta just sit back, relax, and listen to some sweet loot licks. Sure. If I could hear it, mate, I'm sure it would be amazing, but... No. Right, well, I do want to uh, save. Perhaps it would be wise for you to stock upon a few essentials before continuing continuing on your travels. Uh, yeah, we'll see what you've got. <clears throat> Poison needle? I wonder if we're going to be getting Eric back anytime soon. With the whole she hinted at his name and then we're getting daggers, new daggers in shops. I wonder. Uh, new whip for. F Ooh, should I get a new whip for Sylve? I think I will do. So that looks like a pretty cool whip to me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, those those are some new daggers. Skull's cap. Ooh, that could be good for Sylve. Hmm. I can buy Dragon Mail. 12,000. Nah, I think I'll try making it. I think I'd rather make it. Tiny touch shell. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'll need anything else for now. I'm oh, I'm tempted by that Skull's cap, actually. It's only 6,500. Let's go for it. Okay. Right. Let us go save. I'm not going to rest just yet, though. We'll save that for next time. But this place has been raking it in since the stories about that dream started spreading. No wonder the owners are so cheerful. I know, right? I know. Closest town is many miles away. I suggest you rest at the inn here and stay a, say a few prayers. Right, guys. Well, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry if this um, video has been split into two, in which case you will have had a shorter video yesterday. Um... But yeah, I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see what uh, if I could be bothered splitting it. Um, but yeah, that, don't worry about it, guys. You you will know what has happened soon enough. Thank you again for all your lovely comments. Please do uh, leave a like if you've enjoyed it, because that makes me feel good. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next one, chaps, where we will investigate these weird shared dreams.